In this project, we're going to fit a logistic model to some data of bacteria growing. Earlier, we fit an exponential growth model to the bacteria data and found that it was a good fit for the first 64 minutes, but after 80 minutes, it looked like the bacteria growth was slowing compared to that predicted by the exponential growth model. It turns out we have data even beyond 80 minutes. In fact, here's the chart of data gathered for 160 minutes. If we look at a graph of bacteria growth versus time, the data here is plotted by the blue points, we can see that indeed the bacteria growth is slowing down and not continuing to grow exponentially as predicted by the red pluses. In fact, it looks like the bacteria is exhausting its environment. So maybe we can fit the bacteria growth by using a logistic model. The applet further down in this page can be used to fit the logistic model to the data. However, to have more control over the program, we don't suggest that you use it as an applet embedded in a web page. Instead, it will be better to download GeoGebra to your computer and run this applet on your computer. You can save the changes and it will be a lot easier to use that way. If you haven't downloaded GeoGebra, you can do it by clicking on the link More Information About the Applet and then scrolling down to the link Download the GeoGebra program. Once you have done that, you can click on this link Applet File to download the actual applet here that we've made. This applet already comes with the bacteria data entered in, the same data we saw on the web page. In this project, you'll use the applet first to try to fit an exponential growth model to the data, and then to fit a logistic model to the data. Only the logistic model will be able to fit how the growth rate slows down as the population size gets larger.